asking me to talk, Angela, but come on, Josh, do it. <laughs> Gotta hear him. Uh, so many people here in Times Square excited for Rod Stewart. And it'll be great to have him here performing live this morning. His first original music he hasn't written in some 20 yeah, years. We are going to hear brand new music from Rod mm -hmm. Stewart, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, which is why there's been a big crowd outside all morning long. So excited for that. And Nisi Nash is here. The comedian has a hilarious new book out, dishing on a pretty serious subject and one that she's had great success with, Finding True Love. Good for her. And grab a cup of coffee. You're not going anywhere. Josh has got the story we've been waiting for all morning. Uh, boy, I tell you what. Uh, all this week, we've been enjoying our very special event. And it's really been our chance to shine a light on all the stories of all the people who've inspired us so much that we wanted to pay tribute to them, surprise them with tokens of our gratitude and appreciation. So George surprised those wonderful young women of the Camden Sophisticated Sisters with, among other things, a special message from Beyonce, and oh, did the tears <laughs> flow. It was a volcanic eruption. Uh, then Sam visited the firefighters, the heroes of Breezy Point, New York, and he brought much-needed supplies and money to help them rebuild their fire station devastation stated by Superstorm Sandy, wonderful. And then Larry yesterday pampered the pooches and as important, the handlers of said pooches of the canine comfort dog ministry. And so today I get to join in and I get to tip my hat to two young men, two wrestlers, whose story out of really all the millions of wonderful tales that we all get to tell here on Good Morning America grabbed me by the heartstrings and never let go. Justin Keevan and Jared Stevens made such an impact on me, I had to go meet them in person. Get him, get him, Jared! Get him, Jared! Put it, Jared! Put it. it looked just like an ordinary wrestling match between two middle schoolers. But on this day, both of these 12-year-olds left the mat as winners, and to call this extraordinary doesn't even come close. Take another look. You see, Jared Stevens has cerebral palsy, but he doesn't let that stop him. And now he wants to wrestle, just like Olympic gold medalist Rulon Gardner. So then that's when we asked the, the coach, you know, what do we have to do to make that happen? He said, you really want to get Jared on the mat today and asked me if I had a kid who understood what the world is really like and had a big heart. Enter Justin Keevan, Jared's competitor in his very first wrestling match. I didn't know what to do. I went over to wrestle him and I shook his hand, but I noticed he couldn't move. So I like sat on the mat and pulled him over me and like slid under him like that. Jared pins Justin in just 18 seconds and taps the pure joy of victory. He looked at me with a cheerful face and smiled at me right when the match was over. That made me feel really good. Their story went global. Wow. Unreal. Yeah. Teaching us all. And hit me square in the heart. One, two, three. And that's why we've come back to visit these two boys, each of whose stories is very deserving of being told, but it's when those two stories became one that it became something else entirely. It also became a reunion I don't want to miss. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, look, Josh Elliott from Good Morning America. Hey guys. Woo! How are you? <laughs> Hi, Jared. How are you, man? Good, Good to see you, bud. Good to see you. And what would a reunion be without a little surprise? Could I give Jared this picture of him winning his first match? It says courage, character, and commitment. And there it is again, that smile. And I gotta tell you, Justin, you know, I hope my daughter, when she grows up to be your age, makes the choice that you made. And I hope that all of you understand what a monumental moment that was in this gym. It is a real honor to meet you two today. I have one other uh, request. You would be doing me a great honor if you would join me in New York on Good Morning America on Thursday. Can he bring his dog? You bet. You bet you can. Again. And look who joined me today. Justin Kivett, Jared Stevens, and John III, Jared's little buddy. Um, it's good to see you guys again. Uh, I know I told you this at your home there in Tennessee last week, but 
the impact that you had on all of us here and so many millions of people at home really around the world. Uh, it is such, you honor us with your presence, you honor us with your courage, both of you, that you showed in getting to that moment on that mat. And I do, uh, my uh, colleagues over there uh, have wanted to meet you guys as well. Looking over at, at all of you, and um, three of us here were athletes, wrestler, diver, basketball player. Uh, so, Justin, we know what it's like and, and what you did. What has been the reaction, Justin, from people when they see your story and know what you've done with Jared? Um, it's just completely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're handling it well. You guys are both handling it well. And I know uh, you didn't know I was coming down to Tennessee to see you guys, and it was wonderful to meet you both, meet the families. I know you didn't know that I was going to bring you back up here to New York and spend the morning with us here. There's something else I didn't tell you. And I can't not tell you guys stuff, OK? So because it is our very special series, I brought a very special friend to meet you. Come on out. I want you guys to meet. I want you guys to meet Rulon Gardner. Justin, do you know Rulon? I know. I think I'm I've pretty sure you do. Yeah, <laughs> Rulon Gardner. And this is Jared. How are you doing? In the 2000 Olympic Games, Rulon Gardner, wrestling for the U.S., uh, really pulled what many believe to be the greatest individual upset in Olympics history. He beat a wrestler named Alexander Karelin, who hadn't lost for 13 years in international competition. And uh, I know Rulon. Here, grab a seat, bud. Grab a seat. I know. Uh, when we reached out to you, we didn't we didn't have to tell you too much about the story. You already knew about it. I did. I uh, I actually watched it uh, right after you guys did the shot. It was just so ins inspirational for me to to feel the emotion of every wrestler to see you know what goes through that first victory, that first opportunity to feel what sportsmanship's like. You know, it was it was truly inspiring to see you know the the spirit that these two had in sportsmanship and athletics. What, what would you want to say to them both right now? You know what, you guys kind of uh, bring the emotion, I think, sports together. You know, from all the different sports of wrestling to athletics to everything about it. You know, the sportsmanship is being able to go out and share with somebody, you know, what competition's like, but then ultimately what success is, and then also, you know, maybe a loss. But it, it's not about always winning and losing. It's about the opportunity to compete, and you guys show that every day. Well, I, again, I want to thank you for coming to Rolando. Thank you. And I want to, uh, I want to, I want to thank you both. I'm never ever going to forget getting a chance to meet you guys, and I know a lot of people are never going to forget what it is you both did, and the courage and the strength you both showed in getting to that mat that day. So thanks again for coming with us. Thanks again. Thank you. Let's get a check now of the weather with Sam. Sammy. Josh, that story is probably the best story I've seen. I don't know how long. That's what we need, more of that peer love and respect. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. Let's get to the boards. We've got one or two things going on this morning we want to share with you. As you step outside in Tallahassee, it's likely that's what your sky looks like. We know because people send it on Twitter and Facebook. And a little bit of uh, from Colorado as well. As well. Um, there's been an awful lot of rain moving through the middle of the country, and it's another day of it today. So Chicagoland, St. Louis, uh, Indianapolis, you're all in for a wet and rainy day. And some of these storms, particularly in the deep south, could be a little tough with some more hail stones, so frequent lightning, some gusty winds, and even the possibility in South Texas of getting picking up a, a little bit of uh, maybe a tornado. is It's possible, so stay up with your local ABC stations. The warmth is on its way, ladies and gentlemen, after a couple of cold days into the Northeast, and that's the weather around the nation. Here's what you can expect this morning. All that weather was brought to you by K Jewelers. Let's go back over to Josh. Josh. Oh, Sammy, it was a good one. Coming up here, another good one. Niecy Nash, dishing with Lara on Finding Love. Yeah.